Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean install Windows 11 without using a USB flash drive, a bootable USB flash drive or anything else. We're just going to use our hard drive or our SSD to do the installation. If you want to do that, follow the process that I will show you in this video. First of all, let's go to the official Windows 11 download page and download the Windows 11 ISO. I'm just going to go and download it through the media creation tool and where it says create Windows 11 installation media, click on download. Now we're going to have the link to the official Windows 11 download page in the article down below in the description. Let's open up the media creation tool and follow the steps in order to download the Windows 11 ISO. Accept the terms. I will use the recommended options for this PC and then click on next. And from here, I'm going to select an ISO file. So we'll be able to download the ISO file on our computer. I'm going to select it to be downloaded on my desktop, then click on save and the downloading process will start and Windows 11 will be downloaded within minutes. While Windows 11 is downloading, we're going to have to do the next steps. We're going to have to create a new partition on our system. That partition we're going to use so that we can build the installer from that partition. So what we have to do, just press the Windows key to open up this R menu, type in here this PC, right click on this PC and then click on manage. In computer management, go to disk management. In here, you're gonna have to create a new partition, let's say around 10 gigabytes, so we have enough space to extract the Windows 11 ISO there and later on boot from it. So I'm just gonna shrink my C volume, right click on it and then shrink volume. And from here, I'm gonna enter the amount 10K in megabytes and 10K in megabytes is 10 gigabytes. And then I'm gonna click on shrink, right click on the unallocated space, new simple volume, click on next, then click on next, assign a letter to it, then click on next. And you can put a name to it, maybe Windows 11 clean install, then click on next and finish. The partition will be formatted. And as you can see now, we have the new partition in our system. If we go on and enter into this PC, we're gonna see that we have the new partition, which is about 10 gigabytes. The next steps will be to extract the Windows 11 ISO here and then create an entry in our boot menu in order to be able to boot from that partition and clean install Windows 11. The Windows 11 ISO was successfully downloaded. I'm gonna click on finish. And now what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to extract the Windows 11 ISO into the partition that we've just created. So for that, we're gonna need WinRAR or 7-zip. On the system, I have installed WinRAR, so I'm just gonna right click on the ISO image, then click on extract files here on the destination path, you're going to have to select the new partition, which is this one, Windows 11, clean install the E partition. Click on OK and the extraction will start. The Windows 11 and, and ISO components will be extracted into that partition. Now the ISO image is successfully extracted and if we enter on this PC, we're going to see that the ISO components were successfully extracted into the partition that we've just created. Now to create that entry that I've set in the boot menu, we're going to have to download a program called called EasyBCD. You're going to have the link to this program in the article down below in the description. And on this page, scroll down and download the non-commercial version, the free one, click on register, and then click on download. Run the program, on user account control, click on yes, next, I agree, next, and install. The installation process is very simple. Click on finish to run EasyBCD. Choose the language, I'm going to leave it as English, and then click on OK. In this program, go in the left side and then click on add new entry. Go down in the right side, portable external media, click on WinPE as the type, leave it as Win Image RAM Disk. Enter here a name that will appear in the boot menu, for example, Windows 11 clean install and the path click on this button to choose the path go into the partition where you extracted the windows 11 iso go into the sources folder scroll down and select boot.wim and then click on open and then click on the plus button to add the new entry into the boot menu as you can see windows 11 clean install was successfully added to the boot menu now we can exit out from this software and close out all the windows and we can restart our system in order to boot into the windows 11 installation from that partition. So I'm just gonna restart the system. And as you can see, after the restart, we have two options in the boot menu. We have Windows 10, which is our main operating system. And we have Windows 11 clean install, which is that entry that we've made from that partition. If we click on Windows 11 clean install, we're gonna see that the Windows 11 installation process will start and we will be able to clean install Windows 11 on our system using only our SSD or hard drive. So I'm just gonna go through the installation process really fast 
click on next and then install now. I don't have a product key. Select Windows 11 Pro, then click on next. Now I'm gonna accept the license in terms for this Windows operating system, then click on next. Custom install Windows only advanced. So we do a clean install. So now in this step, be very careful. You should not install Windows 11 on the partition where you have the ISO extracted. So as you can see, this is the partition where we have the ISO extracted. And this is our main partition. So we're just gonna delete this partition, click on OK. And I'm gonna delete every other partition because we are doing a clean install. So from here, just make sure to install Windows 11 on the bigger partition, not on the partition where you're extracting the ISO 2 and continue with the Windows 11 installation process. Basically, everything will be the same. And once you successfully install Windows 11, you can go on and delete that partition from your operating system. Once you're in Windows 11, if you want to delete that partition, all you have to do is to right click on this PC and then click on manage and go to disk management again. And here where we have the partition, just right click on it and delete volume, click on yes. And then you're going to be able to expand your existing partitions, right click on the free space and then click on delete partition and then click on yes until you see that the space is unallocated. Then right click on your partition that you want to expand with that space, right click on it and then click on extend volume, next, next and finish. And this is how you can clean install Windows 11 without needing a USB flash drive or bootable USB flash drive and anything else. I'm hoping this video was useful. If it was, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated. Don't forget that all the links necessary will be in the article down below in the description. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.